Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another short coding video. Today I want to show you a very cool effect that you can easily achieve with a few lines of pure CSS. Neon Glow effect, this is how I name it and you can see it in the middle of the screen. Let's jump into the code. First, we'll build a basic HTML structure that we'll later style with CSS. The structure will contain one core element circle and two wrappers around it. Let's start with a circle. I'm going to create a div with a class circle. Now I will cut this out for a while and create a wrapper and then I will put the circle element back in. So let's cut this out and now let's create another div with a class circle wrapper. And this wrapper will be used as a purple outline. And the next outermost wrapper will be used as a shadow that will imitate the neon effect. So let's cut this out again for a second. Let's create another div with a class shadow purple wrapper. Now let's style it. We can start with a body. First, let's set it a background color. Next, we'll set the high to 100 viewport high units, so it will stretch full available height. So, hey, 100 VH. Then we'll use flexbox to align horizontally and vertically exactly to the center the circle that we'll create very soon so display flex then justify content center to align it horizontally and align items center to align it vertically. Now we'll style the circle wrapper. So first let's set it width to 30 viewport width units and the same high. Thirty viewport width. Then we'll use a clip path to create a circle. Then we'll set the background color to this nice purple coral color that we've seen on the demo. And then we'll use a flexbox to align it horizontally and vertically perfectly in the center. So display flex justify content center and align items center. Next, let's take care of the inner circle. We'll calculate the width and height based on a viewport width. So, 30 viewport width, the same as the circle wrapper, minus, let's say, 10 pixels. We can adjust it later and the same high calc. Now let's set it in background color 
to the same color as our body. And let's make it a circle by using border radius 50%. Let me fix the typo here and now we should see our circle. Alright, now it's time for the most important element. Filter property. I'm going to use blur 55 pixels and drop shadow minus 10 pixels minus 10 pixels 75 pixels and the same purple color If you want, you can of course play with these values to adjust the filter to your preferences. And now the final touch, the glow effect that will be another filter with a drop shadow value. So let's style our element shadow, shadow purple wrapper and let's use a filter drop shadow 10 pixels 10 pixels 200 pixels and the same purple color and then another drop shadow with internal shadow so we'll use minus 10 pixels minus 10 pixels and let's say 50 pixels and again our purple color and that's it if you like it don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching and see you in the next video